Hey guys, what's going on today? Bojo here. And uh, for your specialty pleasure today, I decided to throw out another little uh, mini hut for you video for you guys. It's not a uh, online matchup against uh, another player. It's actually me going up against the uh, team of the week. The team of the week that they have set up in uh, the hut mode this week on uh, superstar mode. So just trying to get a lot more uh, EA pucks uh, gathered up here. So I guess in addition to giving you guys some little gameplay comments, comments when they... Uh, pop up here. I might as well give you guys a little bit of a uh, tips video on how to earn a lot of EA pucks in this game too. So, as most of you guys know, uh, NHL 13 has been out for a while now, and uh, there is a good amount of ways that you can earn EA pucks in this game. So, one of them is the uh, EA Moments Live, which is a very good uh, good way to earn the pucks. Although, you can only do it once. The puck totals are uh, very good. Uh, I know around like the top like the top ones that really are uh, like difficult to do, like a bunch of the goalie ones. You can earn around a, a thousand EA pucks. Ooh, Bouchard. Oh, I tried to go five hole. There, Mike Smith closed his legs. But uh, as you guys know, that's one way to earn it. But like I said, you can only do those things once, and then they're pretty much useless. Uh, and then other also then uh, the other ways you can earn them are obviously in hut by doing online matches, uh, single player tournaments. Uh, online tournaments and by playing the team of the week, which I think is a really good addition that they put in the hut to have a team of the week here to gain a EA pucks. It's a really good idea. So uh, obviously, <clears throat> a lot of people get the uh, misconception that in order to earn a lot of EA pucks, you need to win the game. Now I won't argue with that statement because it obviously is true. If you do win the game, uh, you obviously earn a good bit more EA pucks, but that's not always necessarily true. If you really want to earn a bunch of EA pucks in this game, playing small hockey is always the best way to earn EA pucks. Now, when I mean uh, small hockey, I just mean doing all the little things right in the game are always the best ways to earn EA pucks. Now, when I say little things, we'll just do each one individually. Individually, passing. Completing your passes will definitely increase your EA pucks total. So just remember to just complete all your passes. Try not to get your passes intercepted by the other team. Just make good, smart passes. And use, like, your custom plays, too, because they usually uh, always like always work sometimes. So uh, completing your passes is always a good way to do. Uh, taking tons of shots on that. And, uh, well, see, that's one way to uh, get a, a bunch of goals. See, if you take a bunch of shots on that, eventually some of them are going to go in. Take low shots on the net because... Uh, goalies like to leave a lot of rebounds when you take low shots on the net and then they'll leave easy chances for goals. Or you could just have an, a guy in the center with an amazing shot play on the point for a fa for in the face-off area but in, just slap one right by Mike Smith. So good job there for Tyler Sagan. Taking, like I said, taking tons of shots on that always is a good way to increase your EA Pucks total. Um, what's another way? Uh, limiting your opponent's. Amount of shots is always will all will help it out as well. Um, not taking any penalties or going off sides or anything like that always works. And if you have a power play, try to score on the power play because power play goals will help out your EA puck total as well. Uh, turnovers, like I said, turnovers will help it. And just like I said, just play small hockey. That's the best way in this game to earn uh, EA pucks. And oh man, that was a weak goal in the back off gave up there. Five hole, Jared, Jared Stahl, Jordan Stahl, my bad, getting a goal there. But that's also one way to decrease your amount of pucks by letting the enemy, the other team, score goals. So nothing you can really do there. But, um, yeah, so it's just basically earning EA pucks is the best way just to follow those tips to earn EA pucks. Now, another way that uh, a lot of people forget to do this is... Setting up a crappy team because in in Hut they have each team is ranked on a, a star scale from one star to five stars. If you set up a crappy team, like say a three star team, to go up against maybe like a five star team, and you actually get play really well and get the win, your pucks total will technically go up because you had to face a harder team, and in that case, like I said, your EA pucks total will go up. Um. That's pretty much it. Like I said, just do the little things in uh, Hut to earn the most amount of pucks. Now, some of the best thing what, uh, tournaments that I like to do, there is one single-player tournament on the second page 
that I like to do. I think it's called a right-handed rockets uh, tournament, which is on superstar difficulty. Obviously, always play on superstar, no matter what, whatever um, tournament you're playing, or if you're playing team of the week or any just like regular games against another opponent. Always play on superstar difficulty if you want to get the most pucks. Now, it may be hard. It's not really that hard for me to play on superstar anymore. It was when I first started in NHL 13 was hard for me to play on Superstar, but not anymore. Once you figure out how the computers work, it's really easy to follow these guys. So that's always a, um, always play on Superstar difficulty. And uh, like I said, <clears throat> the one tournament I was telling you guys about, the right-handed Rockets, um, it is on Superstar difficulty. The main prize, I think the EA Pucks bonus for the uh, tournament is, I think, 975 Pucks. Which is a good puck amount. Um, and I think the requirements for it is you need no more, a maximum salary cap, I think, of 28,000. Uh, and you need at least 10 skaters on your team. Now, they don't, ha <clears throat> they don't have to be playing on the, the, uh, in the uh, setup itself. Oh, that was a weak goal. I don't know why my defense didn't uh, pick up that puck, but Louis Erickson gets that goal. <clears throat> Now, I think now for that tournament, you need at least 10 right-handed skaters. Now, they don't all need to be uh, set up on your lines. They just need to be, um, they can be in their, your uh, replacement players, too, which is a uh, good thing there. Up, oh, Pierre Mar Bouchard, uh, Bouchard tried to get a, tried to get breakaway there. Carlson breaks that up. <clears throat> but all you need is, <clears throat> God, sorry, guys, my throat is really killing me today. <clears throat> but all you need, really, is, like I said, those 10 uh Minimum right-handed skaters, and you can play that tournament easily. And then the team of the week is always a good idea, too. Just set it up for uh, superstar difficulty and play the team of the week. You will always usually get around maybe like 600, 600, 700 pucks, depending on how good you do. Um, uh, oh yeah, I forgot one thing, too. I, f I actually set this, uh, set this game up. I forgot to uh, change the line changes. I have them set as default, so pretty much I have my first line on there the whole entire time during this game. I don't know how Bouchard got that goal there, but he has amazing balance and just blew that one right by Mike Smith there, so that was a good goal there. Um, yeah, that's basically it, all I have for you guys for uh, Hut. Just, those, just follow those tips. Like I said, small hockey, just do the little things. Uh, they will always get you the most amount of pucks in this game. So without further ado, I guess we'll get back to this uh, gameplay here. Up, oh, tap it in, Bouchard. Up, oh, there we go. <laughs> just a little bit of a poke check. When you see the goalie like that and you don't see the puck, just poke check it. It's under him. So there we go. Two goals in a row. Once again, we have a nice lead over the uh, computer. So here we go. Niskanen getting the puck up to Mace Mason Raymond. Up, oh, he's got the speed. Up, oh, nope, gonna come back. All right, what's he doing with it? Fooling with it. Okay, and geez, Coburn just completely missed that puck. Get back, Niskanen. Up, oh, dive. Oh, trying to break it up. Ooh, very good tip there by Coburn. After that bad pass. Bouchard, all right, he's got the speed. Moving up the right, right wing. Up, oh, stops there at the point. Oh, nice little uh, low hand shot there on Mike Smith. He comes off the five hole. Good play there. All right, Tyler Sagan. Up, oh, Coburn. Oh, spins around Marion Gabrick. Very good there. Matt Niskin in. Picking off the puck. Going right up the middle. Tipping that over to Mason Raymond. Following the custom plays. Oh, Bouchard, ooh, tips it away. Raymond gets it back, though. Send it back to the point, back to the point. There you go, Coburn, big slap shot. Ooh, if they could, if he went on five hole, that would have worked. I don't think Smith, Mike Smith covered his, up, up his five hole. So here we go. It, it's tired seeing these uh, first line guys uh, going through this, these plays here. But what are you going to do as the period runs out? Oh, my God, I remember this. Oh, check up there it is at a goal. <laughs> Dion, what are you doing? Man, they were all pissed, man. That was crazy. Look at this. Coburn just... I, I, was that Coburn? I think it was. He just followed right up on Dion Phaneuf. Yeah, just poke checked him right in the back, and he sc scores in his own net. <laughs> Great play there. Yeah, it was bringing Coburn. That was awesome. I remember that play. Very awesome play. So there we go, guys. As you can see, very good uh, first period there. Uh, four to two lead on these guys in here. I finally go into uh, the settings and change it. Yes, see game style on default. Make sure you set it on normal so you guys can uh, change your uh, change your uh, lines around. 
normal is always going to default doesn't allow you to uh, change your lines it'll keep your first line out there for the whole entire time which isn't a bad thing you will still get a, the good puck amount by switching it to normal you can get some variation on there that's why I like to do like to do a variation on there here we go going into the third period four to two lead on these guys so here we go Niskanen up to Bouchard Bouchard uh, can't get that away from Dionf enough all right Niskanen ooh nice check there on Louis Erickson but he still stayed with it oh Jordan Stahl very good save there by Nabokov. All right, get that up to Bouchard. There you go. You got the speed. Break on it. Break on it. Oh, playing with him around. Oh, God. Oh, God. He got leveled. I don't even know who hit him there. Coburn. Oh, good hit there. Checking Jordan Stoll off the puck. And that's another good thing you guys want to do with computers. You don't have to check them all the time. Poke checking is always the best way to do it there. That was a bad penalty there that they took. Mason Raymond. Don't want to take penalties. I'll lower your EA pucks amount. But, uh... Play, make the uh, computer team uh, do horizontal hockey. Now, horizontal hockey, if you guys aren't familiar with the term, computer players, if you trap them outside the blue line, they'll continuously pass the puck uh, between each of their computers. And uh, it gets really annoying <clears throat> for, uh, if you guys play online matches, you probably you guys are accustomed to this because uh, your computer players will sometimes do this too, have horizontal hockey. Well, they'll just continuously pass it to each other without going into the blue line itself and uh gets really annoying and uh you just want to do that trap them outside the blue line and usually 90 percent of the time they will clear the puck into the uh into your zone into the blue line then you could get it out really quick so let's see here who we got out there i think we got the fourth line guys out there niskin and still out there up oh, hitting some lag uh, who we got? Benoit Pouliot coming back for the puck here. Give it off to Coburn. Coburn clear it out. What are you doing with the Coburn playing with it? Oh, he's going up. Oh, tried to feed Pouliot. Ooh, that might have worked if Edler. That would have gone through Edler's, uh, Edler's legs. That might have worked. See? You trap them outside the zone. They clear it in. They can't get the puck. Well, that time they did, but Coburn sw uh, swats it away. Niskanen uh, clears it up to Marcel Scotch. Scotch coming in. Oh, backhand forehand. There it is. Just coming across the goalie like that, always an easy way to score. Five to two lead. Very good lead that we have here against these uh, stinking computer teams. It's so much easier to play these computer teams now. Now that I know how to beat them, it's so much easier. <clears throat> okay, Campbell's, like I said, they just clear it in. And then our defense just goes back and gets the puck. Jock George is with that. Mason Raymond coming up the left wing. Breaks it up. Oh, back to Tyler Sagan. Oh, tried to feed Bouchard there for a nice little... Cross crease, give and go. Up, oh, Ferentz. Ooh, got blocked out in front. Uh, they clear that puck in. Ooh, good hit there by Tyler Sagan on Golagoski. Campbell, see, look, there it is, horizontal hockey. They keep playing it back to each other. See, look at that. There must have been like four passes in there. Then they just clear it in. Andrew Ferentz is faster than whoever that is right there on that line. He just picks up the puck. Ooh, Tyler Sagan bats that down with his foot. There you go. Give that up to Bouchard. Clear it in around the horn. Mason Raymond picks this puck up. Oh, oh, tried to go a little back and forehand there. Mike Smith poked it away. Get a line change out there. Bouchard, a oh, little play on there. Bouchard, nice little oh, wrist shot there. Block George's nice little one. Bouchard blocked that. Raymond pushing him up there. Bouchard coming back for the puck once again. Oh, nice little shot on there. Oh, poke it in. Ah, he was laying down on it. All right, get more. Get a line change out. Jalmerson back there. And nice little check there by Bouchard trying to knock him off the puck. Kyle Turris. I didn't really see much of him in this game. Up, oh, Brown, Dustin Brown. There you go. Nice little block there. Oh, God. Tyler Sagan got wrecked. Jock George is coming up with the puck. Jock George is up. See the computers, computers stop moving there. And that's what you want to do. If you see the computer stutter right there, that's, an, that's the time to just run right in there and get a goal. So that was a really good uh, thing there. Just take note of that. If you see the like, computer just stutter and you see him just moving backwards and you have a fast defenseman, go for it. You can beat him. So there we go. We'll check Walski. Ah, uh, bad pass there. But Walski still got him back. Ah, uh, and they knocked the net off the mooring again. All right, got the second line out there. Stepan, Turris, Gotch. There you go, Kyle Turris with the puck. Kyle Turris, he's got some speed. There you go, clears it into the left. Derek Stepan goes in the chase. And, okay, Derek Stepan getting it back. Kyle Turris, ooh, nice little cross crease there. Tried to shoot off to the left, but Mike Smith covers it. 320, 209 left in the third. Looks like we're going to have a uh, nice little win here, and I'll show you guys my puck total after this. Uh, Mason Raymond, yeah, I wanted to show this in. He had a couple good hits. 
That was a really big hit there. He doesn't. He's not the best hitter, but oh god, lifted Jordan Stall right there. Louis Erickson. Ooh, turn up sideways. Very good hits there from Mason Raymond. Here we go. I think this is the third line. Joe Colburn with the win the face off. Uh, wins it back to Stall and trapping him in. Kadri playing up. Uh, Dion Vanuf passing it back up. Oh, steal by Colburn. Uh, I guess I didn't expect to get that pass there. Niskanen, oh, geez. Who is that? I think that's Gabber taking in. Oh, good block there by the defense. Niskanen taking it in himself. Gets knocked off the puck. Nazim Kadri picks it back up. Oh, nice little move there by Kadri. Uh, passing it back. Niskanen with the puck again. Out to the point. Wojciech Walski. Coburn, nice little slap shot. Oh, oh. And uh, the puck went in, but we get a power play. But <laughs> that was funny. The puck went in. But, uh. What are you going to do there? All right, power play for the second line out there. Yeah, and then they're just going to clear it in because they don't have any chance whatsoever. Oh, my God, Nabokov, get that. Jeez, you're letting Yager just run right in there. I was waiting for him to come out of the net. I didn't want to take control of him. Oh, yeah, this is a great move. Oh, good move there by Kadri. Oh. Is that the move I'm thinking of? No, I do a different move. I think I get a seventh goal if I'm not mistaken. I do a nice little move with a little bit of time left on the... Uh, Left in regulation, Ferentz, oh, big slap shot there. Mike Smith with a good save. Passes out to Dion Phaneuf. Clears it in. Tambaka off with the puck. Playing with it around the net. Gives it to Niskanen. Yeah, I think it's with Bouchard. Here it comes. I do a nice little move here. Watch this. Oh, good little move right around the defense there. Backhand. Backhand. Forehand. Open net. 7-2 to lead. I do play back this again because that was a nice little move. It was an unnecessary move. That's a hat trick for Bouchard. But it was unnecessary move. It did get around him, though. Goes for the check. Bouchard, that's just a wide open net. Just a wide open net. He misses the check. He thinks I'm going to pass it to, I think, uh, I don't know who's on that line. It might be Derek Stepan, but thinks I'm going to pass it to him. Nowhere near to be found. 5.1 seconds left. And we get a nice little win here. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And there we go. Nice win there. And then I go to check out the puck total. See, look at that. One game, you score seven goals, 967 pucks, only 40 points deducted. Uh, 40 points deducted there for, I think, like the two penalties that I took and maybe like one off sides. But other than that, it's a good uh, way to earn your pucks, guys. Take it easy, and we'll see you next time.